Hi, I'm Jim Hodge, pastor of the Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Grand Rapids, and welcome back to the shop where things are continuing to happen. In fact, I'm working on a project right here that's supposed to, well, take the place of those brownies that, you know, I don't know what I was thinking with those, but she, she doesn't like brownies, so I've been working on something else. This is a piece of pecan that is going to become a, um, a knitting bowl. And I don't know if you know what a knitting bowl is, but you can doctor Google it and find out, or when I'm through, I'll show it to you. But I did think of something else to do for my lovely wife, and I'm about doing that right now. And you know, working with wood is a lot like, well, relating to people. Sometimes wood can be soft and easy to cut and shape, and other times, like right now with this pecan bowl, it's like trying to turn cement. But with patience and sharp tools, it's not impossible. Oh, that reminds me, I gave myself a challenge the last time we were in here. Do you remember what it was? Let me help your memory. This is going to be a bowl. This is a, a board that I've laminated together. And as you can see, it's pretty thin. So how on earth would you make a bowl out of that? Well, I hope to show you, but that's another segment. So yeah, it was that, that challenge to make a bowl out of a flat piece of board. And well, I did it. And I just take a few moments here to give you a little bit of a slideshow to show you how. Are you ready? Here it is. And so there you go. That was the process by which that piece of board became this bowl. And as you can see, there's depth to it and a pattern to it. The woods are walnut and rosemary, so it's not impossible. Nothing's really impossible with God, you know. Whether it's working with wood or relating to that person you've been stuck with for over a month and a half now, Nothing's impossible. All you have to do is, is get in touch with your own talents and, and begin to, well, practice those and, and become better at that relating or that wood turning or that Bible study or that way of servicing that you've been thinking about but have been afraid to start maybe until now. Do it. Take it up. The new mission from sequestration. Who knows? All I know is that in whatever you try to do, if you put your heart and soul in it, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a lot of imperfections in this bowl. But that's not the point, is it? The point is that we use those, we use who we are, we become better, we offer ourselves imperfections and all to the glory and to the grace of God. And we do it with the love of God. May it be so for you. I, I've got to get working back on this pecan bowl because if I lose track of what I'm doing, I may end up making a, another batch of brownies. That, that wouldn't be good. <laughs>